So we're in the um, Russian Museum, and we're looking at some works addressing Russian artists and artists from different parts of the world. And what are they saying here? Um, what do you think they're saying here? I think they're talking here about a screwed euro. The euro is collapsing. The euro's return, because it's the euro. No, wait, something's going on here. This country is ascending. And the dollar is gone. It's disappearing. So this is actually a very political statement here and probably pertains to this moment in time and where we are economically. That is what the artist is expressing. She likes to work with nails and board. A lot of the work is... Why destroy the American flag? Because it isn't the American flag. Oh, the American flag. It's being hammered. They basically. changed the whole and what the American flag is. So what are those colors standing for? Which country? There's no more red, white, and blue. It's something else. It's got to be China. Maybe China, maybe. And maybe this is China taking over. We came here in 1975. Different time periods when people came to America how much everything changed. I'm going out. Here. The next room, there's some very interesting work here. This is terrific, in my opinion. These are beautiful works. Turiyev is the artist. But yet, everything goes to the big bad boy. Certainly what's being said. But is it a big bad boy? The face, it's a big bad boy. Bad ruler. And here? Yeah? Innocence, I think. Well, I think the painting that is extremely interesting is this one here, what which reminds me one? a great. Well, let's let's take a look at this because it's very much what Russian art was, is in terms of its folkloric and surrealistic character, but it's interesting what this guy has on his head, which seems to be a bottle cap. And these two people are fighting. So when you look at it from a distance, you don't really realize that there's some very interesting things going on it's in the painting. It's a very dangerous painting. Yeah. I mean, look at this woman up here. Yuri Dikov is the artist here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And this the next room is another interesting room, very much lace like, lace like works. It's very pretty. I'm not sure what they're saying. What are they saying to you? Almost like Paradisium, but not. It's hardly lace. 
This is interesting. How beautiful the way this piece has been done. It's various layers of lucite so that you're getting something happening in each layer inside the room. And put up against the light. It's a very pretty piece and an interesting technique. Well, this museum is certainly worth a visit. I mean, it is, does mean coming all the way to New Jersey City, but it's a pretty part of town. And the drive didn't take too long, and it seems that they must hold events and concerts here. So it's certainly worth a trip. This is very exciting down here. I think these are all Russian artists, probably living in America. And a lot of it's conceptual, some of it's surrealistic, some of it's with different mediums. But I think this is a Korean artist here. Yeah. But it's an interesting space and it's an interesting other place to come that's different to anything in New York. And it's, it's worth a visit, wouldn't you say? Hmm. It's worth a visit. Yes. So this is the Russian Museum in um, Jersey City. And we drove out here to see what was happening today. And the art is certainly very different. And I know that in Russia they have fantastic schools and fantastic training. And a lot of these artists do Why originate. Is man playing chess yes, there. Against nobody. That's down here. Against nobody. Yeah, against just pondering himself what the next move is. Well, I think we'll end on that, pondering what the next move is. Because that's where we are right now in this moment of time. Thank you.